it's Cash of GTA 45. I'm getting, uh, trying to get a little bit advanced of stuff. So today I'm starving. I've eaten anything since the last cheat day, basically. It is 5.28 and it's BJ's. Never ate that, BJ's Bros. Famous for the Pisukis. I got one. I got two pizzas. One for today, one for tomorrow. I'm gonna have eat half and half. I'm gonna talk about it in a second. And some Easter candy. I'm talking fast because I'm really excited to try my first pisuki ever and the pizza there. Sale stuff, so I'm happy. Mmm. Almost as good as my homemade one, if you look at it one time. I think I made it twice. But this one is a white macadamia nut. I love that stuff with the ice cream. I think it has like 1220, no 1240 calories. 1240 calories and it's definitely worth it. Amazing. I wish I would have 10 more of those. Oh. Now I'm thinking about going out and buying myself some macadamia nut cookies from Beverage Farm. <laughs> so now the lovely tasters of the pizzas. Let's start out with the first one. I'm gonna eat half of this one. It is ranch, oh, it's deep dish by the way in case. I think I never had deep dish in my life. Maybe, I think I tried one time, one bite, but I didn't like it. And it was an old one, like, it was flown here from somewhere else and I tried it, so old one. But this one is chicken, bacon and ranch on it. 480 calories a slice. I have no idea. I, I, I was all, almost going for the barbecue, but sometimes I'm picking with the barbecue. Never went to beach approach before, so I'm like, let's, if I try something new, let's try out ranch. I had ranch in my life, and pizza. I have to admit, I actually like it. Really good. In case you never, never seen a pizza from BJ's before, that's how it looks. Thickness. I wouldn't. I don't think I would buy it for normal price. The pizzuki, I think, was seven dollars, so it's like worth it for me. This pizza is regular price. I think twenty eight fifty something like that. So it's twenty nine thirty dollars for one pizza. Um, for for that money, I don't think it's that great. It was good pizza, but not thirty dollars. I'm really hoping I'm going to digest the pizza fairly well. I want to bake something tomorrow morning for breakfast. And I'm more going to say it, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat it. Because I don't know how to digest this stuff. Like, deep dish pizza, never had it. So, a lot of dough. That was only a uh, good thing. I had to go halfway to return, like 20 miles. And a lot of locations, uh, restaurants there. I'm like, it took two hours to decide what it is, and then the steel came along. I'm like, sign, you gotta, gotta buy it. I have a picture gone. Now it's pepperoni time. I have to say I like the ranch better. This one is good. Like all, all both pizzas I have a different taste than like the other normal regular pizza joints. But this one I wish I would be a little bit more sauce on it. So now comes this part. What I was really excited about when I saw the Target, it's basically a sour blue raspberry bunny. It's a white fudge uh, with sour. It sounded very interesting, didn't sound delicious, but it sounded good enough for me to try. It smells like my pre-workout. <laughs> So 
Surprisingly, I actually don't mind it. I actually like it. I thought I wouldn't, but I like it. Now, a cheap dollar bunny. I'm like, it's Easter. I have some Easter stuff included in it. It's not bad chocolate. I think I saw last year somebody's cheat day complaining was like it's good. I don't know. I don't complain. And it's done. 5.49. Three stuff so far. I'm hoping I'm digesting the pizza very well. I don't know because I'm going right from fasting from last cheat day right into eating that stuff. Never had deep dish pizza, a lot of dough. Hopefully they just it right. So I really want to eat the breakfast thing, which is a lot of like baking involved. I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat it or not. So if, I, if I'm not, we'll find out later. I'm going to eat something else for breakfast. But I'm really hoping I can digest it very well. So I'm talking too much, guys. I'm really excited about the stuff. It's like a fantastic start. Let's see the damage. And hopefully next, either it's going to be snack or it's going to be the lovely cake bar thing that I'm planning of um, creating. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, and good morning. I have to talk a little bit more because I'm gonna put like how I made the cake up on top so everybody can see how it looks, how I made it. It is 8.14, lovely oh, bars, wait a minute. cupcake bars, looking amazing. I'll give you this shot in the beginning, but that's how, how they look. Uh, what are in there, that's that, I think total 12 of um, full size Reese's peanut butter cups in there. A lot of like peanut uh, butter cup um, s'mores, like six mini, peanut butter cups, a lot of sugar, cream cheese, and everything like that. It's smelled amazing when I was baking it. It looks amazing. I do not think I'm gonna eat the whole thing because it's too much and the pizza didn't digest uh, that great. So, so, you know, some stuff digests better, some less for me. That pizza with all the dough didn't digest that well. But I'm not complaining. I'm just trying to fill time because I, I don't know how long this stuff is going to be. So other than that, I'm going to show you now the my fitness pal thing on the screen. So you guys can see roughly all the ingredients because 8,500 calorie, calories for all that stuff sounds kind of insane. I did not realize that until I put all the stuff in there. It was that much because I really didn't look at it. Just went through it real quick. So I had most of the stuff at home. I just had to buy the cream cheese, some big Reese's pieces, and, uh, cups, and so on. So, but 8,000, roughly 8,500. I think it was 8,400 and some change, 59 or something like that. You will see it on the screen. Insane. And it's not even that, that much volume wise, but uh, you saw on the screen like the kilograms. I think it was 1.75 kilograms. So, I don't know. I will see how much I'm gonna eat. Most likely not all of it. Rest I can freeze, need another day. That's why I pre-measured it. I can measure it out afterwards how much I eat. So now I should have enough time uh, to, with the talk. Let's try it with a peanut butter cup in there. It's good, I like it. If, if I remake it one point, I'm gonna put a little bit more sugar in it. I like it sweet. So, but maybe it's because I use um, peanut butter s'mores instead of chocolate s'mores. Uh, more, not s'mores, morals like the those little like things I kind of pronounce it right. Like those those small like chips. I used peanut butter ones instead of chocolate. Maybe that makes the sweetness a little bit different. But I like I like it sweet. So next time I would add a little bit either light brown sugar so they that have in the dough or real sugar in the cheesecake so to make it a little bit sweeter benefit for me but it has gonna have more calories
So, I have to stop for now. Of course, I didn't finish it. I didn't think so, especially after the pizza yesterday. And I can always freeze it or eat it later, but I really want it, or I have to eat the other pizza in the fridge. I don't want to overeat now. I'm not going to be able to either finish the pizza because I can't freeze the pizza. So roughly that's how much I left. I have left, so I'm going to measure it out in a second. And then uh, I'm going to be back for another meal. So it was good, but of course with me, too much of one thing at a time as well. But we will see how I digest it. Then going to be pizza and then maybe later more of that. Welcome to the lunch portion. It's 2.24. Eating the other pizza from yesterday, the BJ Brew House. This is going to be an interesting cheat day as far as views as well. It's high calorie because the stuff has a lot of calories, but what do I eat? Like three items, two pizzas, the, the bars, and then of course two chocolate things, the buddies. So I don't know if people are going to like it or not. It's a little different, but let's get it started. I'm hungry. Let's eat with this stuff I like the best, this one. So it's 2.49 as you guys can see. I can't believe I actually managed to finish, I finished, managed to finish, I can't even talk anymore. I finished all the pizza, amazing. Or right, later than expected, so I might be back for another meal, but lovely damage. So hope you liked the video so far and let's roll out the damage. Welcome, 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 last meal, last meal, hopefully, because it's 5.40, so I'm gonna get it in roughly 24 hours. I have a little bit of this left. I don't know if I can fit it in damage-wise, and I really wanted to have some pudding. And normally I prefer cook and serve ones, like warm ones a little bit. Hopefully my camera is not crooked, but you guys have to deal with the crooked picture right now. Uh, so I got the instant one that I had them laying around at bottom a while ago. Sonic chocolate shake and strawberry shake. Sound very interesting when I bought them at the time. No idea if they taste good or not. So I'll start that one. Mm. This one reminds kind of the cello a little bit. It's okay. But for instance, it's really good. I think I'm really crooked. Sorry guys for that, but I don't want to restart the camera. So let's finish a little bit of this stuff. Eat that up while I'm eating this one. Five, fifty-two. I have no idea how many calories I ate. You already know it because you saw the title. That's some more candy here. Probably I could eat probably like a bar of chocolate or a little bit of like a sour but I'm almost up to capacity, like full, full, full. I have to also see I had three two liter diet soda bottles over, throughout the day. And I didn't even think I'm gonna be able to finish all the um, bar stuff. It might sound funny, but I got it all stuck between my teeth. But I'm so happy I finished it. Hopefully you guys liked it. Um, I'm gonna show the damage and then my physique, my weight and my physique. If you guys don't watch that stuff, 
Follow me please on my social media. You could be seeing sneak peeks here. So damage and then my physique. Welcome everybody to the end of the video. It's physique and weight update and it's a little bit different because I didn't fast and I got sick. So I'll explain while I'm showing the weight why it looks like that and it's gonna be interesting. The next couple of cheat days, you can see my weight. So let's start out. I started out at 192. Compared to last cheat day, I lost a little bit of weight. I was happy about that. So at the end of the night, I was at 211.8. So almost 20 pounds up. And with all that food, I mean, what do you expect? Then the morning afterwards at 209.3. Normally I fast, I couldn't fast. I didn't even work out, which I normally never do. I was wondering that day why. And at the end of the day, I had like a little bit uh, sugar, like probably like four, five, six, seven, eight thousand. I was a little bingy eating, but no fast. So next day I came at 208. Point zero. So as you can see, I lost still 0 0.3 of all the water weight and everything from the cheat day, but it's not going down because that night, again, a lot of sugar, a lot of sugar. I'm not even estimating how much. Next day as well, 207.2. I still went down a little bit regardless of all the food, but overall, I'm still 15 pounds up. And another sugar. So last day I recorded, I came at 230.7. A lot of more food that night. And the reason why I figured out that night, because I got sick that night or afternoon, I had to lay down in bed, I had a migraine. I slept basically on and off for like for 40 hours, didn't get out of the bed, just got out, gave the kids, uh, made the kids food and stuff like that. Luckily, they got entertained with YouTube and uh, games on the computer. So that helped me out, but I was literally like 40 hours in bed. Yeah, for, 40 hours, for, oh no, 40 hours? I am 24, yeah, probably 40 hours roughly, almost two day, full days. And migraine, I couldn't move out. I just basically slept and slept and slept and slept till I got better. They, they, they even were, finally got up two days later and I still had a headache and all that stuff. I'm still not recovered today, which is almost a week afterwards. So I have no idea what I caught, but. When I get sick, I normally start out eating like a lot of sugar stuff. My body craves it just to get energy in until I get really like fully like sick. I got there where I hardly ate. So anyway, so uh, let's wait for the next three days. You guys see if I can maintain my weight, drop a little bit and how all that stuff affected, but I'm gonna come in heavier than usual. Like the last couple of times, I'm getting a lot of sicknesses this time around. I don't know why. But that's about it. So guys, see, let's see if I can manage to drop my weight a little bit while doing a lovely cheat day. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting, whatever. You can follow me on my social media right there. So updates when I have my cheat days because I'm off the schedule. I'm trying to get them a little bit faster in, as I explained. Um, so I don't know. You will see when the next cheat day is going to happen if you follow me. That's about it. So guys, thanks for watching. This is a little bit different video. I know a lot of high vo volume um, calorie food, but less meals, less variety, but it was just, just fit of what was something I wanted to do. So hopefully still like it. So I'm rambling on. I need to get the video edited. So guys, thanks for watching.